hide your status bar and hide your system navigation bar in Flutter. Also enter the full screen modes lean back or immersive to hide the status bar and system navigation bar by default. If then the user taps or swipes again on the screen, we will exit the full screen mode again. To hide the status bar, you call here the method set system UI mode to manual. And secondly, you define here the overlays that should stay visible. So in this case, the bottom navigation bar should be visible and the top navigation bar, our status bar should be then hidden. With this, if we click on this button, the status bar will be hidden. If you set this overlay to top, then the status bar will appear again and our bottom navigation bar will then hide. And the same works also if you remove here all the overlays, then both of the status bar and the bottom navigation bar will hide. And lastly, if you set the overlays to top and bottom, then if I click on this button, the status bar and also the bottom navigation bar will appear again. Next to the manual mode, you can also set it to the full screen mode lean back. And with this, if I click on this button, the status bar and the bottom navigation bar will be hidden. And as soon as the user taps then here anywhere on the screen, the status bar and also the bottom navigation bar will appear again. You also can set the full screen mode to immersive. And with this, if we click on this button, the status bar and the bottom navigation bar will disappear. And now if the user swipes here anywhere at the top or anywhere at the bottom, then the status bar and also the bottom navigation bar will appear again. And finally, next to immersive, you also have here immerse sticky as full screen mode. And with this, if I click on this button, the status bar and the bottom navigation bar will disappear. And now as soon as you swipe here from the bottom or from the top, then you see we have here this overlay and this is appearing only for some seconds and then it will again disappear. And of course, you don't need to execute it here every time if you click on a button. Instead, you could also execute it directly inside of your main method before you run here your application. You set then, for example, here it to the full screen mode. Let's also try it out by hot restarting our application. And now you see the status bar and also the bottom navigation bar is hidden. And as soon as I tap here on the screen, it will appear again. You also can listen to these overlay changes with this UI change callback. And here you get then every time a boolean field which we want to print to the console. Let's also try it out. I'm right now here in the full screen mode and if I tap now here anywhere on the screen, then it prints here the boolean flag to the console. And also if we enter again the full screen mode, then we get here this boolean field to true which is then also printed here through this in the console. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.